Hello, and welcome to Cindy's Corner. Today, boys and girls, we've got lots of surprises happening on Cindy's Corner. And the first one is that I am going to be uh, releasing uh, the Winkle Counts to Ten on a Kindle. And that will release on uh, June the 27th on Kindle. June the 27th. Today, boys and girls, this will be on Kindle so that you can, and it's a free Kindle, okay, for five days just to see how it goes. And help me and try it out. Let me know. Um, not sure if I need to put it on there or not. So, and today we're going to read, you know it, a Pete the Cat book. And if you've got this one, Go get it so that you can follow along because, you know, Pete the Cat is always doing something fun. And perhaps you can tell me about a change that has happened. All right? Does that give you a hint? All right. Our book today is Pete the Cat and the Cool Caterpillar you've got that book, go get it so you can follow along. It is a level 2-0 book, level 2-0. And you know that Pete is always into something fun. And so Pete the Cat is our title page and the cool caterpillar. What makes a caterpillar cool? Yeah. And our author is James Dean. Pete is on a bug safari. Have you ever been on a safari? He and his friends are looking for bugs. How many bugs can they find? How many you think they can find? Callie spots a tiny black ant. It's building an ant hill, she says. Groovy, says Pete. Gus finds a round red ladybug in the mint patch. It has nine spots says Gus. Nice, says Pete. Marty sees a big black spider. It caught a fly, he says. Neat, says Pete. Pete finds a green caterpillar in a flower pot. I will bring it home to show mom and dad, he says. See the caterpillar? Mom helps Pete build a home for the caterpillar. They use a big jar. Dad puts a lot of little holes in the lid for the jar for air. Pete puts the caterpillar in the jar. Pete put some leaves in the jar for the caterpillar to eat. He adds a twig for it to crawl on. Good night, Pete, says Mom. Good night, Ma uh, Pete, says Dad. Good night, caterpillar, says Pete. When Pete wakes up, caterpillar is gone. Where did it go? Did it run away? It is not gone, says mom. It did not run away, says dad. Look, they say. Look at it. The caterpillar is inside here, says mom. It's called a pupa. 
or a pupa. Will it stay in there forever? Pete asks. No, says Dad. The caterpillar is changing into something new. What's it changing to? Do you know? Tell a friend. Okay, let's go back. What will it become? Pete asks. It's a surprise, says Mom. We must wait and see. Pete waits. Callie comes to visit. Did it come out yet? She asks. Not yet, says Pete. Sometimes we call those like a cocoon. Pete waits some more. Gus comes to visit. Did it come out yet? He asks. Not yet, says Pete. Pete waits even longer. Marty comes to visit. Did it come out yet? He asks. Not yet, says Pete. Still got it. Pupa. Pete waits. He's got the magnifying glass watching and waits. Counting the days and waits. Then one day something finally happens. The pupa starts to wiggle. Something is happening, says Pete. It wiggles some more. Everyone comes to watch. The pupa cracks open. Something is coming out. What can it be? What is it? Tell your friends. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Were you right? A head pokes out, then some legs, and then two colorful wings. The caterpillar changed into a beautiful butterfly. Wow, says Pete. The butterfly, fly, the butterfly slowly moves its wings up and down. It is ready to fly. They take the jar to the park. Time to say goodbye, says Dad. Pete opens the lid of the jar. The butterfly flaps its wings. It flutters out of the jar and lands on Pete's nose. That tickles, he says. Then the butterfly flies up into the sky. Bye-bye, butterfly, everyone says. Let's find a new caterpillar, says Pete. Change is pretty cool. Now... Was Pete surprised? Absolutely. The caterpillar changed into a butterfly. Have you ever seen a caterpillar change into a butterfly? Tell me. If you've been on a bug safari hunt, tell me that. What did you find? Did you find a caterpillar? Have any of you ever seen a caterpillar? Did you... Wait, tell me if you find a caterpillar and then share it with me. What happens? Do you put it in a jar like Pete did? I hope you enjoyed our story of Pete and the caterpillar. And you can actually draw me a picture, if you want, of the pupa. Or you can draw me a picture of the butterfly coming out of the pupa. There's the pupa. And then there's 
it coming out. You could actually do the stages from the caterpillar to the butterfly and label them one, two, three, four, and draw and do the stages of the butterfly. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because you need to share this with your friends and colleagues so they don't miss story time and challenges from Cindy. Have a great day and most important, give somebody a hug and tell them you'll love them.